iGlobal Awards 2020. The iGlobal Awards celebrate ordinary people who are doing extraordinary things for the British Indian community and beyond, often extending acts of kindness in the most challenging situations. They come from across the country, from diverse backgrounds, but through their actions, they shine a light on human goodness, innovation, creativity and sacrifice well beyond the call of duty. We honour the unsung champions that make our community and country proud. This next award is the iGlobal Mental Health Awareness Champion of the Year. No one should feel alone with whatever issues they may be experiencing under the surface. These individuals have all worked hard to highlight a big issue facing the global community today, mental health. At iGlobal, we are committed to the campaign for better awareness and understanding of mental health issues and so here we give a big cheer to some of our community veterans let's take a look at who the finalists are Deepal Patel Deepal Patel shaved her head completely to raise money for mental health charity Young Minds. So far, she's raised £4,500 plus and counting. Empowered by her dedication, her employer has decided to match the funds raised. Deepal has been actively involved in raising mental health awareness since the lockdown. Priyanka Chauhan. Priyanka Chauhan is on a mission to bring the benefits of dance to the most vulnerable members of our society. Her organization, Mahananda Dance Initiative, seeks to deliver a wholesome experience to those who may not otherwise have access. Rekesh Chauhan. Rekesh Chauhan is an accomplished British Indian artist and musician who has recently teamed up with the British Asian Trust to commemorate World Mental Health Day and to break stigmas of mental health in the Indian community. The UK Prime Minister has commended the project for raising awareness of mental health. Dr. Rina Kotecha. Dr. Rina Kotecha is a medical doctor and founder of The Mindful Medics. Healthcare starts with self-care program, which she started and developed after struggling with her mental health and suffering from burnout whilst working in the NHS. Her goal is to create a substantial workforce in the face of the current healthcare climate. And the winner is Rekesh Chauhan. I caught up with them earlier to get their reaction to winning this award. Hello and welcome to iGlobal Events and it's all about Diwali Fest 2020. We've got a host of stars that we've been talking to and uh, have the uh, privilege of working with as well. One of whom is Rekesh Chauhan winner of the iGlobal Mental Awareness Award. Uh, now, he is a formidable character and uh, has done a lot of hard work in this particular field. And we're lucky to have him with us here today to spend a few moments with him uh, and uh, and ask him a few questions about what he does and the causes that he supports as well. Rakesh, hello and welcome to this event. Hi, Tony. Firstly, a very happy Diwali to you and it's a pleasure to speak to you. Likewise, thank you very much indeed. Uh, first of all, Maya, congratulate you uh, on your award and uh, the fantastic work that you've been doing. Hopefully we'll be able to find out a little bit more about that uh, during the course of this uh, chat that we're going to have with you today. Um, now, mental health awareness is what we're going to be talking about, for which you've actually received your award as well. Um, give us a little bit of background and history to, to this scenario of mental health awareness. Sure. So uh, firstly, it's a fantastic privilege um, to receive this recognition. The work that I've done in this space is predominantly using arts as a medium to narrate stories of mental health. So in this particular um, project, which I um, undertook, I was supporting a fantastic charity um, who, who are called the British Asian Trust and narrating a real life story of a mental health beneficiary who's named Neelam with um, an anonymized um, telling the story through uh, music and an ancient dance form known as birth Nathium. I wanted to use arts as an enabler to open up difficult conversations um, within the communities where mental health is maybe more pronounced and it's important where there's stigmas to help break barriers so we can better communicate message messages and especially now more than ever. Where do these 
events, situations, and scenarios take place? So uh, from having released the story, I've been receiving numerous messages of those who have been affected and those who have um, found help through through the story. And it ranges, it seems to range from a wide um, a wide spectrum. It could be, you know, in people's homes, it could be um, more, more wider. But I think the key message that I wanted to tell through the story was that it's important to have the conversation first. And until people don't have those conversations, it's difficult for those for them to still seek help. Um, and that's what the story and, and the video tries to portray it because it's only tr um, through the help of the British Asian Trust um, was Neelam able to get the um, necessary and crucial um, support that she needed. It appears to me that, OK, resources are available. We're fortunate enough to have in this country certain resources available, perhaps not enough. That's another conversation for another day. However, making these resources available to the Asian community in particular must be a real task for you guys. Um, how do you go about making more Asians avail um, available to these situations and say to them, look, these resources do exist, we are here to help you. And then of course, there's the language barrier as well. Absolutely. So, you know, there are barriers in place and there are stigmas in place. For me, um, as a British Indian pianist composer, um, the way that I use as a catalyst is, is art. To, to tell stories, to narrate stories and to reach people. And I've known, um, especially since the um, beginning of the pandemic itself, entertainment has become a tool of release for people. It's something they've um, they've gone to, to, to have that space. And I realized this straight away. I was being um, inundated with requests to do a lot of live concerts online. And I wanted to be able to translate those numbers who are watching um, those live concerts for a cause, for a meaning. Um, because for me, I, w I wanted to feel longevity within the impact and stories I was telling through music. And as they say, if music be the food of life, then play on, as it were. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, not only too well through displaying uh, through your music that these resources are available and very well done. And talking of uh, congratulating and commendations, how do you feel about being recognised for your work uh, regarding mental health awareness? Well, it's a fantastic privilege, Tony, to receive this recognition. Um, as a British Indian, it's important that we can break stigmas, use the tools that we have at, at our disposal to better communicate message, messages, especially now more than ever. Um, I would just like to say a very special thank you to all those who nominated me, to iGlobal for the excellent day work they do in recognising and champ championing um, British Asians. Um, and um, I think this this award it's it's to share with everybody else who who is doing work in whatever way possible um, using art as a medium, and I know there's so much fantastic work which I've seen um, happening in this space, and it's important that we all do do our part. Sure. Do you feel the drive to increase mental health awareness um, is actually making an impact? If so, how? And if not, why not? Yeah, absolutely. There's, uh, as I was alluding to earlier, there's absolutely fantastic work that's been done all around, um, you know, for example, through um, this project itself, I've been able to reach a number of people, and that's just using a specific segment. Um, having received multiple messages um, since Neelam's story, which is the title of the project I undertook to tackle mental health, um, I realised how arts can enable those important conversations. So absolutely, there's, there's fantastic work being done. Oh, very well done. And the campaign for mental health awareness uh, continues. Are there more projects in the pipeline? Um, any more initiatives that uh, you're thinking of or working with? So I've had four other productions release over the course of the pandemic and having seen the results or rather the impact that this project has had, I'm much more animated to be able to leverage and use the productions that I'm doing for, for causes. And, um, you know, I've had offers to turn these into uh, productions to do more stories and in whatever way possible, um, you know, I think music itself is such a profundant um, force where it allows people to express their feelings and um, 
having played um, so many concerts over the years, the one thing um, people always tell me is how relaxed or how better they feel um, after listening to um, to a piece of art. And I will definitely try to use that in a way um, to, to spread a positive message wherever possible. Music impacts people's psychology in many different ways. And if it means helping them through mental health awareness, then so be it. But also it has a relaxing sedative effect as well on, on the brain and the mind, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, as I, I say this often, music is medicine. Yeah, indeed, indeed it is. It is. Um, so for people who may want to find out about the projects you're working on and maybe want to find out more about mental health awareness and what's available to them in terms of resources, how would they go about getting in touch, seeking help and getting advice on this subject? Sure. So I would um, tell people, firstly, do check out um, Neelam Story. It's available on YouTube if you just type in Neelam Story, uh, Rakesh. Um, and at the end of the video, there's a clear call to action where people can seek help. And um, there's various resources available, um, including NHS and Mind, who are um, some of the bigger organisations. But I know there's so many fantastic organisations doing yeah. work in this space. Well, congratulations. Enjoy your award. Very well deserved. And uh, thank you for joining us here on iGlobal for Diwali Fest 2020. It's people like you who are mentors for the future. And uh, we look up to you and salute you for the work that you're doing. May you continue long and prosperous uh, in the same field and making more and more people aware of mental health awareness as well very well done congratulations on your award and a very happy diwali to you as well thank you so much tony thank you